Hey guys, it's Morgan Zeggers, and this week I saw one of the most disturbing videos in my life. We gotta talk about it. Here's what happened. CNN did an entire story on a father in Afghanistan that claimed he had to sell his daughter because he couldn't afford to feed his family. He sold his nine-year-old daughter to an old man with a very white beard that claimed he was 55 years old. How much did he sell her for? $2,000. CNN filmed the entire sale and ceremony, including the girl putting on makeup for the ceremony. The ceremony, the father asking the old man to be good to his daughter, the old man grabbing the child by the arm when it was time to go and her whimpering in response, and the end scene when the old man is holding her one bag of belongings and physically dragging her out to leave as she digs her heels in the sand and tries to stay with her mother. You and I both know what probably happened to that child after that sale and the kind of life that she will now live. I have a lot of thoughts on this. Okay, first of all, to CNN, I guess you could say kudos to them for filming and documenting this horror so that we're now all aware of it. But did anyone on the team say behind the scenes, here, dad, I will pay you $2,000, $5,000 to take this girl with me instead? I mean, instead, they just filmed the sale of a child to an adult man and basically watched and filmed the transition of this child into a life of abuse by a pedophile or even becoming a sex slave, probably? You're telling me now that no one on the team maybe put up a fight or anything? Second thought, where are all the pink pussy hat wearers from the Trump era, okay? This is where the true fight is when it comes to women's empowerment and rights. You can claim that American women are oppressed all you want, but the truth is clear. If Americans want to save women from oppression, they need to be putting their resources, time, and money into saving young girls like this, not participating in lingerie slut walks through American city streets to show off that we're empowered, or having concerts with Madonna and all these other liberal celebrities in D.C. where they shout out and celebrate their abortions. Third thought, liberal Liberals and leftists of America like to act like we live in a society where the poor and the struggling are just completely abandoned, you know, super inhumane here. But in reality, we have a strong social safety net where taxpayers come together and support people down on their luck and we give them a hand up so that we never, ever in the United States of America on our soil have to experience a moment as tragic as this where a father says, well, I can't afford food for my family, time to sell one of my kids for just $2,000. I do believe our welfare system is out of control and it's become a system of handouts for lazy people, but that doesn't mean that I'm not proud of the American concept of helping others when they are down. I'm proud to know that my taxpayer dollars go toward preventing these horrors from happening on American soil. And I'm very grateful for being an American because of that sense of community responsibility responsibility right there. If only the American left would be able to see their own privilege that we have from being just born in this country. It's a blessing and I'm very thankful for it. I wish the other side was too.